Hanging out in Atlanta is like so trash by yourself. I feel like in New York, at least people talk to you. Send me the look in, I'll be right there Let me go come check in my bed Totally You told me I could trust you Don't lie uh, I could really uh. use it Everybody needs love You told me I could trust you I wanna talk about, but I ain't got no one to talk to. Shit, I don't. <laughs> Shit, I don't. 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 Shit, Today is the last day of October and Halloween. I thought this year was gonna be like super fun <laughs> for Halloween, but unfortunately I don't have any plans. So um, I am just going to go get my nails done and then I brought like a package. Um, so I think I have like four or five more sessions for my brows. So then I'm gonna get my brows done, come back home. I kind of want to start on this living room because every time I look at it, my heart starts racing and I'm just like, this is a lot. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time because I made myself dinner reservations. I saw this restaurant on TikTok where I was just like, oh, okay, I'm gonna try that out. So I'm gonna treat myself dinner tonight. So I'm gonna get all cute and dolled up and um, come back home and then work on some assignments. I always have assignments to do, I feel like. So that's gonna be our day today. Um, so yeah. You give me the sweet as That's why I. We just made it home. We're about to just do our hair and get cute and feel ourselves and feel good. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. We're getting ourselves ready because we're about to get cute tonight and we're going to take a picture of ourselves and we're going to treat ourselves to dinner and it's just going to be a bomb ass night. So, I got my nails done. I'm feeling good. I'm going to do my hair. I need to hurry up because reservations at 9 and it's currently 7 50 and I don't know what I'm wearing yet, but we're going to figure it out. Ladies pop your pussy like this. Yeah. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. All you ladies pop your pussy like this. Shake your body, don't stop, don't miss. Just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now. Lick it good, suck this pussy just like you should. Right now, lick it good, suck this pussy just like you should. My neck. Okay, so I had to hurry up and get dressed, but the makeup, I'm, I'm feeling the makeup. The makeup looks really good. Hair looks good. Um, I don't know my chain, but I'm gonna keep it on. And then my outfit, I'm gonna take a picture tonight so y'all can see. So we worry about that. My bag, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm late for dinner, but they're probably gonna sit me at the bar. They're probably gonna try to be funny and sit me at the bar. I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. I'm so sad because I made reservations at the restaurant. Um, 
and yes I was like 45 minutes late <laughs> so they were like do you have a password and I was like what do I need a password for and they were like because after 9 30 you need a password to get in and I was like oh I had a reservation and they were like where well, you're like almost an hour late for your reservation so do you have a password no I don't know password why do i need a password if i was on time i would still be in there so why do i need a password so they turned me around and now i'm just about to go to like i oh i picked well i thought i was going somewhere else but i guess i got the names mixed up so i'm about to walk into blue to see what it's giving i just want to sit at the bar and eat and just take my ass home if it's not giving or if it's too crowded then i'm gonna try visions and sit there but we'll see Hanging out in Atlanta is like so trash by yourself. I feel like in New York, at least people talk to you. Here in Atlanta, no one fucking talks to you. I mean, people talk to you, but people that you don't want to talk to you talk to you. <laughs> so I came across the street from Blue to like this one place. I don't know the name, but that's why people are, but. They have unisex bathrooms. No shade, but I don't like that. Can we just have two separate bathrooms? God damn. I'm just gonna go ahead and like go to my car and take my ass home because it is technically what? 12 o'clock at night. So fuck it. Tonight definitely sucked. I missed my reservations. And then my calf muscles are killing me. And then, like you are weird, so, I don't know. Today is a new day. Well, we actually skipped the day. Today's Tuesday. So Monday, what did you do Monday? I was so tired after coming back home from trying to get my groove back. You know, I was trying to do that Stella got her groove back situation. I'm glad you came, but you're late. How can I be late to something I never said I was coming to? And that was like an epic fail, um, but that's okay. I was like super tired. I was supposed to start with my trainer yesterday morning, but I texted him and I was just like, I can't do this. I'm tired. Can you reschedule for tomorrow? <laughs> and luckily they were flexible with me and they rescheduled for today. So we met this morning, but yeah, yesterday morning I could not get up. <sighs> at no 6 30 in the morning to be downstairs by seven no i just got out there i'm so tired so i slept in i ended up waking up at like around 10 and i just had to like make a few phone calls well i had to make a lot of phone calls and then um i had class in the afternoon after class i went to my storage unit because my previous workstation that i was using when i was in new york i posted it on facebook marketplace and luckily someone reached out to me and was like um can i buy this and i was like um yeah, so I met them at my storage unit and then um, swapped that out. But yeah, so after that, I went to the grocery store, got some groceries, came home, and got to work. So I was working really, really, really hard on um, my booking site because I normally use, when I was in New York, I was using Style Seat, and Style Seat was like doing great for me. I was using Style Seat to book clients and stuff like that, um, but I was like, hmm, I wanted to like try like a different platform. So I was working on that all freaking night long. But I'm really happy about it because this morning I opened up my books for November, which I'm like super excited about because I'm so ready to get back to work. I really miss doing hair. Oh my God. Like I, like I do, like I make wigs and stuff, but I really miss that interaction with like people and doing other women's hair. Like, I miss that so much. So, I'm really excited about that. Looking forward to see how this month is going to turn out. Um, but, yeah, I was up all free morning. I didn't end up going to sleep until, like, 5.30 this morning. And the reason why I went to sleep was because I rescheduled with my trainer for this morning at 7. So, I went to bed at, like, 5.30. Woke up at, like, 6.45 to make sure that I was ready to go downstairs, go to the gym. I was in the gym for, like, a little over an hour. I came back upstairs. It was, like, a little after 8.00. And then I showered and took my tail back to sleep because I was so sleepy. But before I slept, I had like made me like a Greek yogurt because I was feeling like very nauseous and like weird. Like when I came back upstairs, y'all, like all I had 
this morning before I went to the gym was water. And when I came back upstairs from the gym, I just vomited. Like it was like a lot. Like and, but it was nothing but water and acid. So I was like, dang, like what the fuck is going on? So after that, like I said, I showered, uh, I made me some Greek yogurt, I laid back down and I slept until like a quarter to 11 because I had class that began at 11. And then I had a, a medical appointment at Grady Hospital for like a regular follow up. And um, that was at noon. So I got there like around noonish. It was so frustrating because I was there all freaking day. And my appointment was scheduled for 1230. It was supposed to be there by 12 I got there by like noon. And they um, did not see me until like after four o'clock. So I was at the hospital all evening and I didn't get home until like after six. Mind you, you know, when I finally get seen by the doctor, he's looking at my face and he was like, has that swelling gotten like gotten any better? And I was like, no, I mean, not, not to me. I don't know, I see myself every day and I feel like this has been looking like this for like the past month. So I don't know what y'all think. I think it's been looking like this since my freaking trial haul. Um, since my what? Yeah, since my trial haul. I don't feel like it's gotten any better. The only thing that has gotten better was the, ex it's the exterior. Like I can kind of, kind of feel a little bit more, but outside of that, everything is still numb and the swelling is still there, which is whatever. Some of you guys said in the comments that the swelling um, it's going to take a long time, but I was trying to I, I was okay with that until he asked me like hey like why is your face still swollen? I'm like you're the doctor. I don't know But yeah, he looked inside of my mouth and I have like angry tissue protruding down here so he went on ahead and prescribed me some more antibiotics and like an, another mouthwash to use every day um, for the next two weeks and then he wants to he wants me to come back so he can monitor what's going on two weeks from now because he's leaning more towards it possibly turning into like an infection which is very frustrating because he was like you know you know coming back in two weeks depending on like if it's gotten better or if it's still the same if it's still the same he is highly considering going back under so they can like clean it out so that way it doesn't turn into like a full blown infection. So that was like very frustrating for me to hear today. Cause I'm just like so over this and so ready to just move on. And I freaking can't because it's just gonna take time. It's just gonna take time. And then on top of like hearing like they might have to cut my mouth back open and my biggest thing is just like everything happens for a reason. So there's a reason why all of this stuff is like happening. So you know what I'm saying? It's just take it for what it is and keep on freaking trucking. So that's what I'm doing right now. Came back home and showered um, because I was at the hospital all freaking day. So I came back home and showered and then I made me and Nala some dinner. Nala is so bougie. I left her some pebbles and that girl will not pick up them pebbles. She will not eat them pebbles. So I, I have to literally cook for her. Like I make her, well today I made her some chicken and like some dry food, dry freezed dog food, mix it together. And um, that's what she ate. We got a really busy week. Okay, we got a really busy week. mug from El Salvador when I went on deployment back in 2015 so yeah I saw this coffee mug and I was like oh my god this is so cute mm, this Earl Grey smells good with the almond milk I hope I did that right do y'all add water or is it just strictly milk I don't know but I'm excited to try it
Put my feelings on safety So I don't go shooting with your RP Cause you take the bullet trying to save me Then I'm left to do what making you dear And that's a whole lot of love, ain't trying to waste it Like we be running them out and never make it That's just too bitter for words, don't wanna taste it That's just too bitter for words, don't wanna face it short blob type of look and I changed my mind so <laughs> I'm going to save the length savor the length I'm gonna give myself a trim next time but I'm gonna savor the length because I want to add eye tips and tape ins to my services so um, in order for me to do that I need a model and I can't seem to get a freaking model to install these uh, tapings in so I'm just going to do it on myself so I'm going to go ahead and order me some hair from my vendor they have tapings and eye tips I was like you guys are so clutch so I'm going to order some hair from them and um, do a bomb ass install on myself and yeah because I'm like feeling a natural vibe nowadays you know front tools are cool closures are cool especially when you don't feel like doing your hair or putting no heat to your hair but um, them na that natural like sew-in look, but very more versatile type of um, hairstyle. I'm really feeling it. I'm really loving it. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So fuck it. I wish my hair was thicker. I wish I had more hair on my head. I would be okay if I had more hair on my head. It's a big ass forehead for me. But it's okay, it's not right. it's all right. Man, I, I've been trying to hold up and say something this whole time. You was thinking that? <laughs> That's what I'm talking to. I'm right now, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, the, the, the split bag. No, 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 put it down, put it down, put it down. I was gonna do that, right? You for real? Rihanna got a big forehead too. What's up? Rihanna got a big forehead. Eric Hilson got a big forehead. Nia Long got a big forehead. I like Nia Long. Now you, now you speaking, yeah, yeah, yeah. now you speaking my language. Nia yeah, Long forehead is not big. Anyways, first of all, oh, I, I like her, but she, her forehead not big. Look, I'm on a self love journey. Okay. Yeah, just don't hit, just don't hit, but nobody in the front of you. No, That's no. the only thing. You can, you can love yourself, just don't hit, but nobody. <laughs> you ain't shit. That's so crazy. Now you make me want to go high back underneath my wig slash rock. Now that that is finito. 
I'm going to move on to finishing straightening out this new part unit um, that I have sitting out there. I did half of it and then I got distracted and then um, now we're at 4 o'clock in the morning and I just got finished washing and blue drying my hair. <laughs> and we're just about to get back to work. So, yeah, let's go. Chanel is when it comes to like buying their product like you can't order offline unless you order something from their store in person type thing and like you have to call even when you're ordering online you have to call them and talk to them and do all of that I want to be the Chanel of wigs that's the goal you can. yeah and you can you honestly you really can I think, I think that that's super that's such a bright idea. Um, I just went ahead and threw on my workout clothes because I have to run to the hair store um, to get some products so that way I can do Jayla's hair today. And then I have my gym session that is at 6, but I might have to ask him to push it to 6.30 because I really have to go to the hair store. So Nala, she wanted to come with me. She's in bed chilling. <laughs> Okay, so we just got back from the gym. I told you guys that we had a lot going on this week and we just added to our plate today. Um, I had a friend of mine call me and ask me if I could do her hair. It was an emergency because she has a photo shoot on Saturday. So, cool. She came by, she dropped her wig off. She has um, micro links um, wefts in her hair right now. So, which is pretty cool because I, like I told you guys, I wanted to add um, micro links and tape ins onto my surfaces. So, this allows me to kind of like get my hands on some micro links. So, I'm gonna be removing her micro links from her hair tonight, washing it, blow drying it, braiding it up, and then we're gonna do a U-part wig. She gave me this um, closure unit that I'm gonna turn into a U-part wig, sew it down, side part, and style it. So it's actually blonde. So it's already been like colored and stuff, but she wants it more blonde. So I'm going to make it more blonde, and then I'm going to put some highlights up here because the roots are too dark for her. And then we are going to slit this baby and make this a U-part wig. So uh, yeah, she also gave me two bundles. So. The, this is one of the bundles, right? And I had to basically lift it about three times to get to the blonde color that we were both aiming for. So I just wanted to see how many times I had to lift the hair um, in order to get it to that safely. So I didn't want to do it the bundle simultaneously. I wanted to do one at a time. And it turned out great. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to this bundle and coloring the wig and yeah. Look, I got a lot going on right now. <laughs> Cause I don't want to necessarily be up all night long because I still have to get up early in the morning and take care of some business. And we also have to go back to the gym in the morning like around 10. And then I have an appointment with Apple cause I don't know if you guys can see in the background but my computer is getting real janky right now. Uh, I can tell that the screen is about to go out on me. So before it does that, I want to go get fixed. So yeah, I'm making dinner right now cause I need to get some food in my system. Cause y'all know, I'm trying to get the games back. You know what I mean? Trying to get the games back. I'm making me some rainbow trout and some salty spinach and um, some rice. And this is where Trader Joe's come in clutch because the rice that I'm using is this uh, brown rice that you literally just keep in the freezer. You can take it out, put it either on the stove top or easily put the bag in the microwave. So when you're like on a tight schedule or you got a lot of shit going on, you just literally 
And um, all of their selections in the store is very healthy. Well, mm -hmm, it's healthy for you, sure, right? So this is pretty cool. This literally only took me three minutes to hit up my rice. Spinach, y'all know, takes only like less than a minute to saute because you don't want it too soft because it kind of takes away the nutrition, the nutrients. And then the fish, fish takes easy to cook. So my dinner is done. I literally started my dinner maybe like four minutes ago and it's already almost done. And then I got my tea, which I'm gonna have to heat back up. Um, I've been really feeling for tea for the past two days. Um, I get, I use, you know, Sip Spy. I don't know if you guys did it or not, but you guys should really make a subscription for Sip Spy Tea because they are the shit and no, this is not sponsored. I genuinely like them. I've been with them for like two and a half, almost three years now. See, this is where meal prepping comes to play. It comes in handy. Definitely gonna have to start meal prepping, especially since I'm gonna Four times a week. We're working out four times a week, y'all. We about to get it white and white. You know what I'm saying? So definitely meal prepping will definitely help save me time and probably save me money. Well, I don't know because meal prepping is kind of expensive, and I, I went, I'm going from like not really eating to eating about fucking three to five times a day. Three meals and two snacks, so that's five times a day. So, I don't know, that might be a little tasty.